Hello everybody. In this video, I will show you how to determine the factor of safety in uh, slide 2 software. And then uh, I will show you how to validate the factor of safety of that model using RS2. Slide model or slide software uh, you are, is using uh, limit equilibrium analysis to calculate the factor of safety. Uh, while the RS2 is finite element analysis uh, that can calculate the strength reduction factor and this factor should be equal to the factor of safety in the slide if all the boundary and loading condition are defined correctly so let's get started uh, I'm, guess, I'm just gonna start uh, by defining the model in a slide so in general I'm gonna just keep it metric uh, failure from right to left yes uh, method I'm just gonna activate Morgan Price and Spencer because they always usually they give uh, the lowest factor of safety there is no groundwater no seismic uh, no sensitivity analysis or statistics uh, so I'm just gonna give it as a default for everything so let's get started and define the external boundary of our model so I clicked here this is an external boundary and then I'm gonna uh, type T here and click enter then I'm gonna have this table to define the coordinates of our external boundary so the first one is gonna be 20 20 I click OK and ask you about the final point you can click here or you can just, you can just type C to close so now we define the boundary the external boundary so this is very simple slope there will not be any there will not be any uh, layers or anything like that so I'm just gonna define this as a one layer and I go to property define material and I'm just gonna call it sand silty sand the unit weight of this material is 20 kN per cubic meter. I'm going to use uh, more column as a strength uh, model. The cohesion um, 3 kN per square meter and the friction angle is 19.6. Click OK. And so it's already defined here as, as this as a default. So it's already defined here as a silty sand the yellow color or the material number one okay so now I'm gonna run the analysis to calculate the factor of safety for this slope using uh, Morgan Price and Spencer method so slide already calculate the factor of safety let's see which method is this so we have Spencer gives us a minimum factor of safety equal to 0.982 and Morgan Stern price give us 0.983 factor of safety so here a slide shows the minimum of these two methods and plot it here okay you can see you can also show all the, the failure surface on this model but for now I'm just gonna show the failure sur surface that give us the minimum factor of safety which is this one the green you can make it uh, thicker actually and yeah and you can make it just after two decimal by going here two numbers after decimal the factor of safety okay so the factor of safety in a slide model using limit equilibrium analysis we have factor of safety 0.98 let's see this model if we define it if we analyze it in finite element using finite element analysis and see what we will get so let's see rs2 this is rs2 uh, this is rs2 software from work science and let's see and by the way this example is also available in their tutorial and available online in their websites so i'm just gonna go through this uh, tutorial and it's available on the rock science website so 
let's first start in the Ruxel. Again, the same thing. We're going to define the external boundary. Uh, before that, actually, let's go to the analysis. And project, this is the most important step actually here is to define the, to activate the strength reduction. So make sure this is active. If this is not active, you cannot get the uh, strength reduction factor. You cannot run the shear strength reduction analysis in RS2. Make sure this is active, okay? Uh, in general, we're gonna keep it as it is. Brain strain, yes. Um, the units in metric kilopascal. Uh, stages, there is no stages. The stress analysis, we're gonna keep it as it is. No groundwater, no dynamic, no statistics. And let's click on OK. And click on external. And then click T. And then enter to define it as a table. We're gonna use the same. Uh, exact coordinates click OK it's gonna ask you about uh, this you can type C and enter or you can just click here so now we define the external boundary of our model now let's define the material. We go property, define material. It's very important. Um, let me write down this, the name of the material. It's very important to go to the strength. And uh, after you choose any model you like from here, for, for this example, I use the more column, the same model that I use in slide. It's very important to change the material type to plastic. If you, do, if you don't change it to plastic, you will not get the strength reduction factor. This is very important step. So make sure this is plastic, okay? And then you can define your uh, friction angle, cohesion, and then make sure make sure this is active to apply shear strength reduction, okay? And then click OK. So now uh, we defined the external boundary. We defined the material properties. We just have one material. Now let's, let's define the boundary condition. So uh, you can go to boundary. Um, uh, sorry, you can go to the, we can define the boundary in different way, but let's create the mesh first. So fine, 300, let's make it 300, uniform, nodal tri triangles, that's fine, discrete mesh. Uh, if you don't like it, you can, increase it more or just keep it as it is 300 okay so now we define the boundary condition we we sorry we assign the mesh size to the model we can define the boundary condition by going to displacement and i'm gonna just delete everything now and then redefine it just for you just for the demonstration sake so you can choose boundary nodes and you can use the Restrain X and Y in this boundary here and here and here. Click apply. Then this is how it looks like now. You can choose node again and define this one. And this one too. For some reason it didn't define, so I just define it again. Okay. Um, yeah, actually, I know why it's defined because I choose this line and then I choose it again. So if you choose it two times, it will go away. See, so that's why it disappears. So make sure you define it correctly, then close. So now our model uh, is ready. We define the external boundary, we define the material properties, we define the boundary conditions, uh, we assign the mesh size to the model. Now we are ready to analyze the model. If you go here and click on compute. It's going to take a few seconds, a uh, few iterations to calculate the minimum strength reduction factor, which, sh which should be actually uh, very close to the factor of safety that we get in uh, slide. 
so as I, I just would like to remind you we got about 0.98 uh, as a factor of safety so let's see if we go here what we're gonna get as an interpret we click on it we wait a few seconds we got 0.995 which is very close to the factor of safety that we got from uh, Spencer method and Morgan Stern Bryce if we change the method and slide by the way uh, if we change the method this is gonna be very close to our uh, strength reduction factor so let's go back to the critical strength the critical strength reduction factor we got 0.995 this is very close and you can see here at the bottom there is uh, many uh, different tabs but R is to choose the minimum uh, as SRF a strength reduction factor and uh, blot it here and also choose the, the maximum shear strain uh, in this model and also show it in the model so this tab represent the critical or the minimum strength reduction factor okay so as you can see this is increasing now it's 0.99 uh, it's 1 1.4 so this maximum shear strength is give you like kind of uh, indications about the 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 uh, the location of the failure slip surface so you see here that the slip surface is has the maximum of course shear strain so it's going to be in this area and we know already from the slide model the fact of the, uh, the failure surfaces is, is going to be in this area so this is the how we can validate the factor of safety in uh, or the critical critical strength reduction factor using slide model or vice versa we can validate the factor of safety using the finite element method in rs2 thank you for watching And uh, another I want I want to confirm this is actually this model is available uh, online on the rock science um, uh, websites and actually they validate the the SRF from R from RS2 software they validate it by slide and they calculate the factor of safety. Thank you for watching.